Hey guys, I'm here at the interview couch and I'm joined by Lincoln and Hal from Colwyn and they are potentially, maybe I'm too biased, but I think you guys are the favorites for the, the CA tournament. I mean, Hal, you are not known for being a jeweler, so, and a lot of people don't know who you are, even though, of course, you're Stermy's little brother. They don't know who you are because you are a CA guy. So tell us a bit about your, your experiences with CA and so on. So, I don't, yeah, you know, I think uh, there are lots of good uh, teams at the moment uh, in uh, America that are, are really good opponents for us. And um, we are in good shape. I I think we are the favorites, but not not the the first team. So there are like three or four that are very very good, and uh, you know I play Clan Arena, and uh, this new format three on three is very good. So I think uh, uh, you know uh, we we didn't have a lot time for practicing, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite interesting to watch while. Uh, what I think about Clan Arena having played so much is that uh, uh, two on two is basically pure aim and things like that. While four on four, that are the two basics format, uh, four on four is more, you know, uh, you can control it. Maybe you get in the wrong situation and you die. So the 3v3 format is quite a mix of it. So you can aim and use brain a bit. So this is, this is quite a new, interesting thing to be seen, you know. Okay, I think that's that's a fair assessment, and I think I agree from the free feed that I've watched. I think it's the most entertaining that I've seen. So, the Americans have a much different play style overall to the European scene. I think it's I think it's really obvious. Um, how have you guys? What, what are you thinking about? What are you expecting people to try against you? And have you already got some counter strategies in mind? Um, well, basically, I think all Americans are pretty real orientated. Um, and while in Europe we're trying to outshaft people, basically, <laughs> we try to have some uh, really close fights. But um, I don't know. I think against us they're gonna be pretty rail heavy. Uh, maybe going uh, on the you know on the back of the map, try to hide as much as possible. Maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I think they're sneaky. Let's say that way. <laughs> sneaky, yeah. Yeah, like mm, the same. I think the same. They're more like uh, they have tactics in different location. In you know, in Europe there are like basics, regroups, and things like that. But uh, here in America they have uh, different strategies, especially in this tournament uh, for you know uh, Trinity and Rapid, very big map. So they play it uh, with uh, more positioning. They have more ways to play it. So it's gonna be interesting to watch, I guess. Okay, so. You're the CA specialist. I think, you know, Lincoln, you're more known for, for TDM, although you did some jewel. And, you know, Sturmy is, is a kind of more of a jeweler, let's say, and, and then a TDM player. So you're the CA specialist. Are you the guy calling the shots, even though you're the youngest guy on the team? Are, are you, are you the, the man behind, behind Colwyn and the CA? Uh, well, I, I'm, you know, the opportunity came and I joined them, you know, in Quakon, but. Uh, uh, we 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 managed to fix our positioning in the maps so that I can be like the one that uh, if I kill my enemy in one on one situation we can rush in and try something like more aim style you know coming coming from it uh, from e rope it will be more aim and things like that but uh, <laughs> yeah uh, what you have an in game leader an in game leader. Uh, mm, not really. No, not really. We were we we're all gonna play our best, and we all calling the shots, basically. Yeah, we're all calling the shots. No, no, not one especially. We're I think we're all like the same aim. At least I am not as good as them because they are more practicing TDM and dual. They have more experience than I have. I'm more, you know, playing Clan Arena makes you better in close situations. So. I'm gonna play in positions where I can do that. Have some privileges, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna direct the next question to you, Lincoln, because you've been 
you've been a Quaker for the longest time ever, and you're in loads of movies. And like, if, if people have never seen you play actively, they've probably seen you just just like the awesome clips in movies or whatever from you playing TDM or, or you know and stuff like that. So you haven't been around so much lately. You're not so active anymore. So what have you been doing? And today also, did you never really focus on Jewel? That's two questions. So. Um, all right, the first one. Um, I was focusing more into shoot mania these days. There were a few tournaments online, and there was that tournament in Prague la last um, the last two weeks. I think I don't can't remember. So yeah, basically I didn't. There wasn't any team games tournament for Quake. So yeah, I was more focusing into shoot mania, and um, and yeah, today I I've, I've been having this opportunity to come here to play with Stormy. I didn't play with him since. I don't remember, like a couple of years or something like that. Um, I think we played in the beginning of Shoot Mania together, but yeah, for Quake it's been a while. And so he told me he was playing with his brother, so we've been playing online a few. It went very well, so I was like, okay, let's go. If I can go, let's go. But yeah, instead, uh, with Shoot Mania I was also working a lot, so I couldn't focus in with two games, you know. And uh, about 101, uh, I want to try it. I really want to, but right now I think like I have too much. I'm, I'm too late, you know. Like the the map pool right now, like fear sites, uh, toxicity, I actic, whatever the the kind of the new maps for me. So I, I'm so late. Like and I would have to play like 24/7, and I can't do that right now. So maybe there's a new map pool. Yeah, maybe I could try give it a shot. But I wanted to play on some face it tournaments for on Sundays, but. Unfortunately, I was working during all weekends, so I couldn't make it. Spe speaking of work, uh, what what do you do? What do you do? Because actually, this this is I think something that's very interesting, because we have a lot of people in like the top level of Quake, and it's always really cool to find out like what they end up doing uh, eventually. Because we're all, we're all grown up now, we're all grown up. I think the average age is like actually kind of high for Quakers these days. So, what what, what are you doing? Uh, well. I'm uh, a video editor, and uh, I think it started with Quake, actually. He told me, like, I was doing it for fun at home, and my brother, hi, Apple, <laughs> hi, Bill, um, he told me, why don't you do that for work? Because I was doing some Quake movies and, and stuff. I was trying, and yeah, after a while, I, I tried, you know, get a job, and started to be in the French TV company, a pretty big one. So um, I've been doing that for, like, yeah, almost three years now. So yeah, editing and, and filming sometimes. So I, I, asked, I asked this question to you, and actually, how you're, you're actually quite young, and even though even though uh, you look uh, a bit more mature than your brother, I, I'd say <laughs> you look you're quite young. So, what are you doing, or what are your aspirations? What are you doing with? Are you doing education? You know, what's going on? Yeah, getting girls. Yeah, I'm getting girls. <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I'm just 17. For, for other people so uh, you know I'm a student nothing doing nothing special just uh, you know in this period I have no no school so I'm in holidays just having fun going to quake on you know s s things like that you know and, uh, and uh, no no plan at all really I, I really enjoyed uh, that uh, I could come here and uh, you know it's the the environment is very very nice. I am joining the, the tournament. I played duel yesterday, and it was very fun. And uh, yeah, people here are nice. It's my first time in America. I just went to England once, so it's my second very important travel for me, and it's very very nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Awesome. So, speaking of it, the fact that this, you know, a new experience for you, you've been to QuakeCon QuakeCon before, right? So, uh, guys, tell me what your favorite things are about QuakeCon. Can I start? I have to start. <laughs> the favorite thing about QuakeCon, uh, you know, uh, I like. Uh, girls. <laughs> 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 no, uh, well, the girls. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off limits. Um, I think, um, yeah, as I said, the environment is very good. I like uh, the people' uh, passion for the um, for the e event. I went to the BioC, and I saw uh, lots of um, not young people, but even older people, like 15, 16, like that, even that the, um, that old, playing Quake Live and enjoying it. And I was like, 
yeah, I, I've been a young, yeah, I was like five or six years old when uh, Quake came out, so I, um, but I see the passion and it, it is very, very good. That is one of the best things I've seen so far here. <laughs> well, my favorite thing about QuakeCon, uh, I think it's a tough one, to be honest, because there's so many things, like, people are r really welcoming, like, very, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they cheer you every time, it's it's very nice, you you feel welcome very, yeah, very nicely, in a good, good way, and, uh, well, obviously, this is a freaking good hotel, so I could tell a lot about the hotel, the pool, and whatever, can drink into the pool, get the sun, meet some good girls as well, some nice looking girls. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, the event is pretty good, like they're trying their best to, to give us the best, you know, condition. Be able to play on some good monitors. Uh, if we have a problem, they always came. Of, yeah, they always come, they always came. So, I don't know, I never had a real issue right now. And it's been like that for the f past QuakeCons I made, and it was, I think I made three or four, I or yeah, four, I think. So, yeah, I can't complain at all. This is a really great event. Okay, so I just have you two guys here, and, you know, Stami's not on the couch, so uh, do, who do you think is the weak link in Colwyn? Depends, uh, like, aiming or... <laughs> well, you should see your stats at Shaft for the last map, bro. It wasn't that good. <laughs> Uh, for now, it, it, it has to be Sturmy, but uh, he didn't fix his error this morning, so maybe that's the point. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well, you want to say something? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, there's a leader. What the fuck, man? <laughs> What's up, guys? What's the question? <laughs> I don't know. I was asking about the weakest link in Cold. Why are you the leak weakest link? Why are you so weak? Yeah, it must be me. I mean, I've never played much Clan Arena, I guess. But I mean, these two guys have so much more experience than me, obviously. But I mean, when it comes down to aim, you guys know what's up. So just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So I asked the, I asked these guys. Like, I think this is an interesting question. So I asked them about like the American play style and stuff. So. Did you think of anything about like countering their strategies, or like are you guys just gonna run at them, or because they're gonna try to run away, so you're gonna have to chase and run towards them if you want to use your LG? I know you guys like LG. Well, I mean, we saw how they played the American Cup. Uh, I think it was like last weekend, yeah. and um, they played really different than most of the European. We actually, I want to thank the European players that helped us practice in the last uh, few days. We didn't really have much uh, practice days, I put it that way, yeah, but. Nice. Yeah, like free nights, but like they really helped us, and um, it was really nice from them to you know uh, make sure that we got some good practice before leaving. So that was thank you guys for that, and uh, yeah, I think the American play is really different. Thanks for the close up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm getting scared. <laughs> I just woke up. Come on, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I, uh, they play really different. Like the most European always try to um, fight at the start of the round. Sometimes, sometimes at bridge on uh, DM6, or uh, like for example on a, on a Hasilum, they like one little bridge and one of on the bigger uh, platform, the top level. Uh, while here, they well, yeah, we saw like different tactics, so we don't really know what to expect. But we're gonna, me and Lincoln have so much experience. We've been playing together, quick live, and also other games for the past three, three, four years. Maybe yeah, more. maybe we, yeah, maybe more. And we we won and we many events and we play stop free at like so many different events as well so uh, this is my 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 brother first tournament as well and um, what do you mean yeah well yeah but uh, inter 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 international events let's put it that way yeah with um, and he has been practicing a lot and it is mode so it's uh, he's gonna be the man who's gonna carry us let's put it that way <laughs> okay so my next question is gonna be for each of you and it's gonna be three things okay so you gotta remember this it shouldn't be too hard so I need you each individually to answer who is the most handsome CA team at this event today. And the other two questions are, uh, what, what do you guys think individually, that, um, like your team's weakness and, and your team's strength? Okay? Yeah. It's only two, right? Well, handsome, weakness, strength. 
Oh my, <laughs> god. oh my god, oh my god, these questions. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. <laughs> so on ZTN, you're... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no. oh god. Uh, I didn't see the whole team. Um, the Yeah, every team. I didn't see whole people right now, so I couldn't see who's handsome, but obviously it's going to be us. I mean, we're European, so... <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> uh, or weakest links? Uh, we don't have any, I think. We don't. Hey, you I don't. You, 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 can't, you can't look to them. It's, it's your answer. Okay. All right. Um, well, mm, weakness. Really, that's a tough one. I don't know. We didn't play that much, so we couldn't really yeah. say what's our big strengths or big weakness. But um, yeah, I could. Yeah, our strengths maybe should be co close combats with LG. That was your point earlier. But uh, yeah, but weakness, I don't really know. Like we didn't play that many games to to see what was going on. We had a few practice. I said the. Uh, like for two, three nights, but uh, we, pr I don't think we'll, we, yeah, we lost maybe one map out of so many. I don't know. So this is what happens when you win. You can't really focus on wh what didn't, uh, what, what went wrong. So I don't know. I, everything maybe could happen and go wrong. But uh, right now I feel we're in pretty good shape. So I don't know. I feel, I, I feel good. I feel good for the tournament. Okay, so it's uh, us. <laughs> Thanks to my brother. Uh, strength, it's probably our aim, and weakness, it must be like the experience in the mode, which means that, um, you know, we don't, there's been players here that only play Clan Arena, and uh, so obviously they know the mode better than us. At the same time, uh, I think we might be able to adapt faster than the others, also giving the tournament experience that we have. So uh, it's both weakness at the same time, like my, must be a strength, so. You want to answer that question? Yeah, but uh, I didn't understand the second one. Just say us. Us? Because <laughs> <laughs> right. of my brother, not, not me, so it's. Us, strength, aim. Strengths, aim? Not strength. <laughs> no, 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 I said strength, strength. No, 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 but. Uh, but what, what what was the question? Like weakness, strength. Ah, strength. Ah, mm, you know, yeah, LG. <laughs> LG is our strength. That kind of strength reminded me of strengths. Yeah. It's so <laughs> Are you sure you my brother? And, uh, <laughs> and for the weakness, I don't know. I guess it's Termi. It's our weakness. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. He oh left, he left. No, oh, finally. <laughs> uh, did, I just, did I just break your team? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just, uh. So the next question is, favorite cooler quote? <laughs> there are so many quotes. Yeah. Um, well, obviously the one with strengths at uh, ESL Studio was really nice. Uh, choosing situations, being aggressive and defensive. But um, the latest quote uh, uh, to Demon uh, playing A, B, C, or I don't remember it exactly. I just sh I just seen Demon using it as a bind. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't rem remember how it says. But uh, yeah, I think you have to play a A, B, C game. So positioning tactics and something like that. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was positioning, timing, Etc. So, <laughs> like so, like <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I think yeah, obviously the yes a moment was epic, and uh, yeah, this quote is pretty nice as well. Or come to me, baby, pretty cool also. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that from Face It, I, would, I really enjoyed that. Come to me, baby. <laughs> yeah, don't know. I don't, I don't know any other. So, like, freeze police is one. Is yeah. one, yeah, right? <laughs> freeze police, yeah. I'd say, I'd say, favorite Dan Ross quote, but they're all golden. So, so that's a shame. So, I'm, I'm actually running out of questions for you guys. Do you guys want to interview one another, make my life easier? That's okay. You, it's a, okay. Yeah. If, all right. Shout outs and stuff. Plugs. Where can people find you? Do you want to be found? Do you want people to leave you alone? Well, I'm nowhere to be found right now. I'm on the couch, couch, but that's it for me. But uh, yeah, shout out to Face It for doing an awesome job for tournaments. Uh, it brings Quake Life back, so it feels very good. So thank you, guys.
yeah, I don't want to be found. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that Face It here did a very good job and joined this a lot. And uh, I hope you will see the the cast here, the casting and the place because it's very very you know awesome. awesome. That's what. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for the word. Yeah, th there you go. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for your time. Uh, it was a blast. I guess we'll see you around, but uh, for now guys, that's it. We have more Quake Live CA action coming up all day today, so stay tuned for that. We'll be right back, so don't go anywhere.